Hey, it's Luke without a darts. Today I'm here doing something a little different. Uh, one of my personal heroes, Adam Savage, recently released a video on YouTube. This video is uh, entitled Adam Savage's One Day Builds Head Mounted Dart Blaster. Now that grabbed my attention in a pretty big way, so I thought we had to do a little reaction video here. I've not done a reaction video on the channel. I think they're a little bit meta and I've always kind of resisted doing them. And then I started looking at my watch history and I realized that I watch reaction videos of all kinds of content, so why wouldn't I make them myself when it's a subject matter I'm really interested in. First, I just want to say, uh, Adam Savage and your team, I love your content. I love everything you do. I've watched every single episode of Mythbusters that has ever aired. I've watched all the extras, and we've actually met in person. I did uh, quite a bit of work for Evernote uh, down in Redwood City and uh, as a video contractor and filmmaker, and we met on a spider robot project, and I actually got to interview you and Jamie at uh, MI6 your workshop there and I was just blown away. I had to resist going fanboy because I was there in a professional capacity, so I didn't ask you to sign anything. I didn't go too nuts, but um, I did uh, really enjoy meeting you both. Uh, I also wanna say before I get going on this, if for any reason, copyright or other, you do not want this content up, you leave a comment or message and we will make this disappear. Uh, I hope I'm using all of the video content within the video here in fair use. Uh, there's a lot of gray area there on, the, on YouTube and online, so hopefully you approve of this. Otherwise, I definitely don't want it up there. For those that haven't uh, seen my channel, we are a Nerf mod hobby shop and uh, we do all things Nerf. So uh, I wrote a book on Nerf modding and I love everything foam blasting. And in the book, I actually quote uh, Adam, I say, uh, uh, drawers are where tools go to die. And I think that's such a great quote because I have so many tools at home uh, that never get used because they are tucked away in drawers or bins. Adam has done two previous videos on Nerf modding and uh, I didn't do a reaction video on those and I probably should have because they were really fun. One was a thousand round plus giant nemesis massive hopper and the other was a long strike I believe and that was a I believe a secret Santa gift where you did a really cool paint job on it. Every time that Adam does stuff in our hobby it makes huge waves and everybody sees it. And it's huge exposure for the hobby. And that's the reason I wanted to do this video is I'm hoping that you'll get involved in our hobby because I think you clearly would enjoy it and you would probably enjoy meeting some of us and seeing what we're all about. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in your life as far as different hobbies. I've heard you've got a Discord for just about every sub sub hobby there is, but the Nerf one's not there yet. So let us know if you want help getting that Nerf Discord going there to kind of keep your finger on the pulse of our hobby because everybody in our hobby would love your content and I think a lot of people that watch your content would enjoy our content and our Nerf modding hobby and uh, Nerf gameplay hobby. Without any more yammer in here, let's get right to it. Uh, so here's Adam Savage's One Day Builds Head Mounted Dart Blaster. <laughs> and go. I like it, Bond. <laughs> That's good, That's good. Someone in the visual effects department yeah. had some fun with this one. <laughs> There's always such a genuine love with Adam. He's, he's such a big kid at heart, and Hello, I think that Earthlings. shows off really well on each of his videos. <laughs> so we've got the teaser. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, Adam Savage here in my cave. One of the most popular videos in Tested's history is when I took a, a Nerf foam ball shooter and modified it to shoot a thousand shots. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was definitely, definitely a huge, huge impact. This went everywhere. Um, it was a couple million views, I think. I can't remember exactly, but it was it was huge. And uh, we were all laughing because I had done the Proton Pack before this, and it was like sort of, you know, really fun to see this video blow up and get and get huge. Um, and I remember watching that video and I was like, oh man, I could have helped him modify the insides because I think the, the video uh, hadn't been, the inter internals hadn't been modified, just the giant amazing hopper and the really cool paint job. Uh, and uh, a couple years later, I did a uh, Reddit Secret Santa where I modified a, uh, a, a Nerf sniper rifle to look really realistic and have some extra features. And that was really fun. And that also did really well. 
I wonder if he's going to talk about this, but the only thing I, I think about here is uh, it's so hard to reproduce a, a smash hit. I mean, we'll get into it when we talk about the actual mod I th he's doing here, but it's like we'll have a video that goes big and it's like one in a hundred chance and I bet even even at his his level there's just no controlling that uh, even though they've got a lot more subscribers. I mean Tested's got 5.77 million subscribers so it's it's gonna vary but there's just no way to control what what has the reach and what doesn't which can be really frustrating as a creator when you make something that you love and enjoy and, and put love putting together and to see it not go anywhere in comparison to something that goes somewhere and took no effort. And again, <clears throat> we end up with this thing that happens to everybody who makes content, which is like, well, that content did really well. It'd be really nice if we had some more like that, which is a totally reasonable way to think. Except that <clears throat> you can't force a thing. This thing that we do making content for each other, it, you know, it, it does not follow a set path, nor is any part of it really predictable. I just haven't felt inspired. That's one of the biggest factors is I've been constantly keeping up with the foam dart space. <laughs> uh, I love to hear that he's like actually thinking of what we're doing here. Obviously his attention has got to be diverted so many different ways, but it's cool to think that he's into similar things that we are because we're all big kids around here too. And nothing's inspired me until now. Um, a foam dart shooter, not Nerf, has come out with a form factor that I find riveting. This. What? 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 <laughs> what? That's... So though, for those that don't know, this is the D-Dart Tempest. This is actually the Pro, which just came out this year. But we did a video uh, August of 2019. So what is that, almost two and a half years ago? And that video actually did really well. It got uh, over 800,000 views. And we just modified the blaster itself to make it fire faster. Because uh, the D-Dart Tempest, these blasters are really fun. It's a unique form factor. About its operation, or these batteries are dead. That is also possible. It's AAA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's AAA. <laughs> batteries are dead. Oh, we only put two batteries in it. <laughs> it needed. It needs four. Yeah, that's right, because it's the... All right. No, they all have I, four I AAAs. Guess, uh, I guess I'm going to have to read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> After being in customer service for a while, you really appreciate what? manuals and uh, <laughs> reading them. I won't uh, say the expression, but you know what I'm going to say. Doubles, it takes two It takes four. I know. Read the manual. Do it. Full auto. Come on. <laughs> Adam's very concerned about these darts. He doesn't want to lose them, which in that shop, I'm sure they go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was my exact reaction when I saw One this, uh, when I when I first played with this blaster, because it's like a little wrist-mounted cannon. They move around, it's full auto. Uh, it just didn't fire fast enough in the stock form, so we made it fire three or four so times faster, put new motors in it. First off, I'm wondering, if I put more than six volts into it, I might be able to get it to go faster. Yes. Second thing is, I want to make a dual shooter. I want to fire two of these at once. Third thing is, <laughs> We already know where this is going because we've seen the intro. Right. Right. Hold <laughs> but, on. But it's really fun watching watching him think aloud. Ah! Come on, stay there. <clears throat> this is part of the third thing. <clears throat> right? <laughs> so this concept is definitely, it looks great. Um, and now I'm already starting, my brain's kind of spinning on thinking about what we could do because we happen to have a little mountable, high capacity, very streamlined. I'm just picturing two Mount Olympus, which are essentially Jupiters to two proton packs. If that's a build you'd like to see as like a response bi video build to this, I will do it. So comment in the, in the description down below the description. I don't think you're allowed to comment in the description. Comment in the comments section and let me know if you want to see us do that because I could pick up one of these airsoft helmets. We could rig up two proton packs and shoot 40 rounds a second out of the sides of my head. Oh, that's, that's just going to have to happen. It's not practical, but it's too fun. 
I, I won't see those darts again for a while. <laughs> Wait, that quote, <laughs> that quote is too good. <laughs> I won't see, Adam Savage quote, I won't see those darts again for a while. Story of my life. <laughs> we're always losing, they're just, well, we're out of darts. Actually, let's um, tighten this back up again. This is the original here, and I can totally see what his problem is. He's trying to figure out, will this thing hold? This whole top is only held on by two screws, so it'll hold, That's but not bad. it's not gonna be like rock solid. Yeah. Obviously it worked, because I, mean, I can see look, in the going opening, on my head. it's fine. I'm like, bang, 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 bang. It's not undergoing a tremendous amount of um, <laughs> problematic force, which is good. All right, so that's one good thing. Secondly, I need to crack it open and get into that. So there are a lot of uh, moving parts to this, but it's pretty straightforward, yeah. He's, he keeps ratcheting it, and it's funny because one of the fun things you can do is just turn it on, and the firing mechanism is literally by rotating this. So I'll get some batteries in this. You can literally just, this is gonna be very loud, as fast as you can turn that, this thing will fire. So if you just crank like that, it will go, which is super, super fun. Solder, solder, solder. Here he's got uh, all of the, looks like he's replacing the power leads. And he's running switch leads out. So the switch will be replaced, the firing switch will be replaced by uh, whatever he was holding in his hand in the opening. One thing I'm really curious about is whether this type of video, when he's putting these together, is whether this looks like he probably just sets up the camera and films and there's no crew, there's nobody helping him out, which is kind of neat. Uh, and it means their editors are doing a nice job like putting this together, because obviously Adam's not editing, there's just no way. If I haven't found the time to edit anymore, there's no way someone like him is with his busy schedule and crazy number of projects. But uh, it's cool seeing all this. Uh, turn it on in three, two, <laughs> All right, keep charging, keep charging. I need to wire up the triggers. Nice. I should try that kind of thinking. Nope. I don't think it makes my yes, brain work any better. I like okay. I have my trigger. Um, it is uh, one of these protected switch covers with a spring return toggle on it. And so I'll be, I'll have a handle and I'll hold on to this and I can do like this, right? I can undo that. That's a nice touch. It's a nice flare. But goes with uh, the I want a handle on here. sort so of I've bond like theme. A piece of aluminum. I'm going, I'm going to knurl it. Knurl, not knurl. I'm going to knurl it. K-N-U-R-L. One of the fun things about watching Adam work is that he, my brain is so wired for 3D printing at this point, he would never default to 3D printing unless it's like the only way to do it because he doesn't design himself. Um, and so like he can build, the guy can literally build anything, you know, decades of that, prop and building and tool use. He's just a master a nice and it's pattern. so fun like his, seeing him work because his brain would solve problems differently That's than nice mine trigger. would. And there's only a handful of parts. The only reason I'm commenting on this video is because I have more knowledge in the Nerf specific space. You want to learn about how many electrons it takes to make a, to get through a wire? Try, try taking a wire like this. Try taking a lightweight wire like this and getting your wiper motor to work. Uh, like a 22 gauge wire on your wiper motor is just not enough electrons to actually make it spin. The voltage might be enough, but can't get enough angry pixies through this stuff. And that's universally true with all Nerf modding. I mean, there are a bunch of blasters that just removing all of the resistance that's built into the system via low gauge wiring is an upgrade in itself, even by not changing anything else in the blaster. Though we're generally upgrading motors, flywheels, switches, everything to beef it up and improve the performance. I mean, look, I'm just trying to wire past the normal trigger switch, which is making my job a little dumber because I could pull all this apart and rewire it so that I was able to activate it on a single thing. I'd just be routing power through both of them in parallel. Again, it's not that important. So I just, running a second lead was the fastest way to deal with this. Uh, so let's get some. Oh, Adam, don't take the glasses off for soldering. 
<laughs> Today I feel totally in my um, like original soldering. Just solder, solder, solder everything, you know? That's the way to do it. Soldering's the way to go. It's, uh, we don't need any other kind of shortcut. <laughs> um, it's pretty obvious uh, he's not going to upgrade motors or flywheels, obviously. And anybody that's watching this channel is probably tied into our hobby a little more and is probably thinking about that. Like, oh, he should upgrade this or that. This one's been upgraded in internally. We've got replacement serrated flywheels, which are larger and have a higher crush, meaning the flywheels are closer together, which improves the performance. So they fire farther. And then the motors are upgraded motors. These are Kraken motors. It's a motor we specifically produced um, with friends of ours at Foam Blast for the Nerf hobby. It's Nerf hobby specific motors. And then in the handle here, we've got a 3S LiPo, which means it's running at about 12.6 volts. All of that combined means this fires faster than probably the two of his combined. So it just rips. And then it's also set up to a single trigger. So you no longer have to activate this just to turn on your flywheels, which is really nice. And that's 28 rounds. It's it's pretty fun. Um, so I would love to have, like, it would be so cool to help him do this part just to shortcut it or something, you know, in a future future kind of thing. If somehow Adam and his team are watching this, I would collaborate any day and help you guys out in any sort of video. It would be super fun to uh, do the electronics parts, the upgrade parts or something, if you ever come up with another Nerf-specific kind of build like this. One more systems check. Always, every time you make a change. Whatever that battery pack is, it doesn't have quite enough current because I can hear the flywheel sag every time he pushes the, uh, the pusher, pusher motor. So I bet if he did a LiPo, you'd actually get a little more performance, but I bet he's using this, like this battery pack it because like it's convenient, like safe, and, and, and probably no muss, okay, no so fuss. <laughs> There's nothing worse than assembling oh, no. something and realizing you've assembled it ever so slightly. He's not going to be able to get the wheels back on. Is that what it is? Because uh, of the wire? Yeah, right. So. Nope. Yeah. Snip, resolder. So disconnect all of these and reconnect them all. Again? <laughs> so he's had to re. Uh, I've definitely done this. I mean, not with this. I haven't done this mod, but. All right, I can't lose track of it. I frequently had to re redo. You know, zero, soldering zero, joints one, because one, you don't two, think two, it all three, through. Three. It's hard when it's like the first time you're doing something and it's sort of very uh, new and exploratory. exploratory. Oh my gosh. It looks oh, so goofy. Yeah. I love it. This is so great. Oh man. It's like my head is the razor. <laughs> <laughs> Powering on. We are hot. We are armed. And we are firing! Oh! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh. <laughs> uh, that's good. Might have to bleep that out. I don't know about you, but I feel great! Ah! It's not loaded. <laughs> <laughs> I wish these were belt fed. I wish these were belt fed. I think we are gonna have to do this build because after watching this, I just wanna do basically two Jupiters here or our new newer project, uh, Mount Olympus. I think we put two of those on the side. We do a trigger and we can shoot 40 rounds a second and have a uh, 800 round capacity, 880, so 850 round capacity on the back. I think we got to do this. Um, and maybe we do it in a one day build where we actually shoot the process. Comment down below if you'd actually like to see us do that. I haven't done a lot of process videos because they take an absurdly long time to film, a lot of editing time, and you just end up with a lot of footage. And they're not always that interesting. I feel like Adam is really good at keeping the process engaging and, and talking along the way without just droning on. I mean, clearly 570,000 people have watched this already in, a, in less than a, or a week or so. I think it would be really fun to do, to do something similar uh, as just sort of like a competitive version. So now that I have this device, I'm so happy with it, but <clears throat> I don't, I have this issue, right? Because guns are just made to destroy and I would like to know if I could use this device to do some useful work. And I think I have a couple of ideas. First one is, I think I can turn on this switch. It hit it. Yay! 
Yeah, I got it! <laughs> very efficient, very efficient way to turn on a switch. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, something else. Got to do find something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you, Adam Pesky is such a good ball. I love it. Table before a phone call, we can take care of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys ready for this meeting? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that's a good gag at the end. I like it. Uh, this was a lot of fun to, to talk about. I think we've got to do this project. I can, I have all the materials and supplies ready to go. We could very easily, without having to print anything additional or really dive in any further, we could do this in a day. I'm very confident. I think we should do that. So let's, uh, if you're interested in that, let us know. On a related note, I also issued Adam a challenge on uh, his last video, or actually maybe it was two videos ago, I forget the order, but the thousand round, I was like, your thousand round versus my thousand round, and uh, I commented and it became the number one comment, and hundreds of people also commented on that, and I think Tested might have hid the comment because other people can't seem to see it anymore. That challenge is still out there, I would love to do like a head-to-head -head thing. I don't know, there's gotta be something fun someday, um, but maybe I'll make my version of this and uh, uh, and see how that goes because this was a really fun project and uh, it'd be fun to just sort of riff on that and to do my take on it uh, as a as a nerf modder you know uh, obsessive nerf modder I guess for lack of a better term thank you so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed this reaction video if there's something you'd like to see me react to or if that's something you absolutely don't like saying I don't like it tell us down below because we're ultimately doing this channel for uh, you our viewers and uh, until next time I'm out of darts.